to Tea with Ray. I am so excited. This is my very, very first Tea with Ray um, video. And today I'm going to be talking about four primary teas that come from one tea plant. Um, I'm not a tea expert. I'm just a tea lover. And the Tea with Ray project is a journey. It's a journey for me. It's a journey for you. I've learned so much about tea. It's been amazing. I'm really excited that ESP Emporium, um, one of the tea vendors that I love, uh, gave me all this tea so that I could talk about tea today. There are four uh, teas that I want to talk about today that actually come from one tea plant. And I just want to educate you on uh, on what teas are. I've been blogging about these teas, black teas, white teas, green teas, oolong teas, and I know some of you are saying, what the hell? So here we go. White tea, we're going to talk about. Green tea, we're going to talk about. Oolong tea, we're going to talk about. And black tea. Many of you all know that black tea is my favorite tea. Um, these teas, these four teas, white, green, oolong, and black, actually come from the same uh, tea leaf. The difference is when these uh, leaves are picked, uh, what part of the plant they're picked from, and um, how they're processed. Okay, so white tea... Uh, basically is primarily grown in China and it is in the Fujian, F-U-J-I-A-N, y'all know I can't talk, uh, province of China. They, what they do with the white tea is they pick the lighter, um, the youngest actually, buds of the tree, of the white buds of the tree. And what they do then is they let them dry out in the sunlight so that they don't um, have a heavy oxidation. And what that does is it allows the tea to have um, the least amount of caffeine. So white tea has the least amount of caffeine. And it also has um, some of the most uh, antioxidants and health benefits because it's not fermented or oxidized like some of the other teas. So you could do a solid white tea, but then you can do a blended white tea. And this is a white tea um, that actually has a, a different flavor to it. So, for example, this is white grape, and it has in it rose hip, black currants, uh, flower blossoms. I actually blogged about this tea as one of my favorite teas um, to help with depression. You can also have a white tea that... It's blended with other teas. You can even have a black tea, a white tea that's blended with, say for example, a green so tea. So this tea here, let me pour it for you, it's blended. And so this is a white tea. It's a green, white and green tea mix. Plus it has some different flavorings in it. Uh, blossoms and flowers to to give it um, mm, oh actually the smell of flowers <laughs> it's wonderful and so we start with a base and tea. then we add then they add other uh, herbals to it flowers to it sometimes they mix the two um, to give it a different type of flavor. So green teas are also um, very popular and they are grown mostly in China. The thing about green teas is, is that they also have, um, they have the lightest amount of oxidation. White teas have no oxidation. Uh, green teas have a light amount of oxidation. But it's interesting that green teas have gotten a lot of play in terms of antioxidants, in terms of health benefits, heart disease. But what's interesting is, is that white tea actually has more antioxidants than green tea. But out of the two tea groups, uh, white and green, 
are the most powerful. They have the least amount of caffeine and because the oxidation, uh, the fermentation isn't, um, they're not dried out so much, we're able to, uh, to garner the antioxidants, the vitamins, and you know, all the good stuff that's in it. And then of course you can do a mixed tea okay. together. Oolong tea is dried out in the sun just like white tea, but it's also oxidized, like green tea. So it goes through both of those processes. And then um, after they dry it out in the sun so it can wither, and they oxidize it, dry it out even more, they curl it up and they twist it. And it, uh, it, it gives a really unique taste. Teas, the taste of oolong teas can be uh, a range. They can go from honey uh, tasting to woody tasting, uh, depending on uh, which process. And just like there are white tea, green tea, oolong tea, in the categories of oolong, in the categories of green, in the categories of white, there's still even more teas. Um, and then some you can actually, let me see if I have a blended oolong here. Uh, this is a milky oolong, which is probably one of the most premier oolong teas you could have. Um, okay, this tea here is a green tea and an oolong tea mixed together. Wow. So that's a blended tea. That's another blended tea. Okay exotic fruit. Black teas, which are my favorite, have the most oxidation. What am I telling you? They actually are dried out the most. And you can see, I mean, you can look at this and see, you know, it looks like little bitty, uh, I don't know, little pieces of dried wood. Uh, it's a much stronger tea than your other tea categories. Black tea is, um, most oxidized, which is the most dried out, and it has the most caffeine of all teas. Now, people want to tell you that black teas have no benefits, but you have to think about it. It's still a part of the family, so you can't really disconnect the antioxidants from black tea that you get from other teas. Now, I'm a straight black tea drinker, but what's really exciting sometimes is when you have a black tea that's a blended black tea. So this one here smells like butter. It's a butter truffle. So they took this black tea and they put pistachios and almonds and uh, peppercorns and uh, cumin in to get this distinct flavor. So these are your four primary tea groups. White tea, green tea, oolong tea, and black tea. They all come from the same tree, the same plant. They're just processed differently. These are picked very early. Oops. Ah. These are picked very early. They come from the light buds. Um, it's wildered in the sun. This has the lightest amount of oxidation. This is both withered in the sun and has oxidation. And boy, this one is dried out until it looks like black wood. But it has, for me, one of the strongest tastes of all the teas that you could have. And then, of course, you can have any of these teas combined. This is a white and green. This is the oolong and green, um, blended with exciting flavors. So I just really wanted to give you guys a little information about um, these four tea groups that I, I blog about pretty regularly. I'm still learning. So be patient with me. There's more to come. You guys know that I've talked a lot about the health benefits of these teas. 
White tea is incredible for depression, um, heart disease. Um, it just the list just goes on and on and on. So for me, it doesn't really matter what type of tea it's in your cup. What matters the most is that tea is in your cup because it's wellness for the mind, the body, and the spirit. Cheers. Happy Kappa. Mm -hmm.